Hey everybody, my name's Silver. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're ending off Strongest Team AL4 with the Morikumo deck. Probably one of my favorite decks. This deck focuses on essentially arresting and preventing your opponent from doing anything. So let's go over the cards and talk a little bit about it. Again guys, the application I use doesn't have all the triggers released yet, so I'm kind of stuck with some Noah Grappler uh, grade zero lineup, but they're easily substituted for the actual units in the set. So let's hop right on into the grade three breakdown. So we're going to start off with our main unit, but before we get that much farther, please remember to like and subscribe, just like our new friend Daniel Carver did. I hope I said your name right. He recently subscribed today. So if you're new, please like and subscribe and comment the next deck profile you'd like to see. All right, the VR. Dual Dragon Zenoba, which at one point this this card was bought a lot of back during the GR. So as the imaginary gift Excel, probably my favorite gift mark, once per turn, act Vanguard, cost Counter Blast 1, Soul Blast 1, search your deck for one card with a rest in its name, and call it to rear guard. Shuffle your deck, and this unit gets 5k power until end of turn if right and left of rest are on the rear guard. Are on your rear guard, your opponent cannot ride a grade 3 or greater from a grade 3 on his his or her next ride phase. So very good in standard premium. It's okay. You your opponent will just stride. Um unless they don't have a grade three. Uh your opponent cannot ride a grade three or greater from a grade three on his okay, so it's on grade three. I read that wrong. Moving along, we're running three copies of Twin Swordsman Mush Mushumi. When it attacks, if you have more rear guards than your opponent until end of turn, until the end of that battle, this unit gets power 5k, and when your opponent calls guards from his or her hand, he or she must call up to two or more cards at the same time. Pretty good card, pretty standard Excel card. I think there a lot of decks have this uh, having to guard duel. But we run three of him, and we're also running... One, uh, two copies of Covert Demonic Dragon M Mandan Lord. Excel. When placed, cost Counter Blast 1, Soul Blast 1. Choose two of your units. Search your deck for up to one card with the same name as those units. Call them to separate rear guards and shuffle your deck. Act Vanguard. Cost. Put a card into your soul from hand. All your units with the same name as that card get plus 3k power. Pretty good card as an overall. Um, this is your sort of rear guard grade three, while these two you play with, play around with as your grade threes on your vanguard. Moving on to our grade two lineup, we have twelve units. Starting off with four copies of the left and right arresters. The left arrester skill is when when it attacks a vanguard, if you have another rear guard with arrester in its name. In its name, cost Soul Blast 1, and this unit gets 5k power. There are four of him, and then we run right Arrester. When placed, if you have a Vanguard with Dueling drag, Dragon Zittenberg, Z Zenbuck, I cannot say that, um, and you have another rear guard with Arrester in its card name, cost Counter Blast 2, put a card from your hand into Soul, choose one of your opponent's Vanguards, and that unit cannot stand during his or her next turn. So between this card and this card, I don't think you need the left arrester. I think you just need an arrester. Yeah. So with these two, you can essentially shut down your opponent, but you do need both left and right in order to prevent your opponent from riding. So with all three of these units on your rear guards, which you get for having the Excel, you essentially just say you can't do anything. But you do have to ride, or you do have to place a new arrester each turn, right arrester, and... Um... You can activate that skill once per turn. So with that combo, you're essentially locking down your opponent. Coming forth, um, we have Stealth Beast Blood Mist. If you do, if you do not have another Stealth Beast Blood, if you do not have another Stealth Beast Blood Mist on rear guard, cost Counter Blast one. Search your deck for one copy of it. Call it to rear guard. Shuffle your deck, and it gets 
minus 4k until end of turn. So this is your early game card that will allow you to call out some extra rear guards. But you do lose 4k power, so if you go first, you ride this, you can search out another copy of it. Um, but that's about it. Yeah. So if you go first, you can search out another copy. Pretty good card. Not a lot of units to choose from in this set. But I do like this card more than the other grade 2s. So we run four copies of him as well. Moving along to the grade 1 lineup, we run 12 grade 1s in total. We run Stealth Beast Minion Rat. If you do not have another copy of Stealth Beast Minion Rat, cost Counter Blast 1, search your deck for up to one copy of it. Call it to rear guard, shuffle deck, and it gets minus 4k until end of turn. Just more duplication. That's what you want from this. Moving along into the next unit, we have Stealth Dragon Amnitsnip. I I don't even I'm not even gonna continue trying. If you have a rear guard if a rear guard was placed from your deck during this turn, this unit gets 5k. So your grade 2 and your grade 1s here will both boost up these. So if you have a couple of these on rear guard, you can use minion rats to boost this. Which is very fantastic and very helpful. You can even call this on your vanguard. Right, call, yeah. Ride this to your vanguard, call this behind it, use its skill to search out another one to the front row <coughs> or back row. And call it a turn. Uh, from there, we also have Stealth Rogue of Silence. Wow, sorry. When it when it is boosted, when it boosts or the boosted, when it boosts the boosted unit and two of your units with the same name as the boosted unit get 3k power until end of turn. So again, this is rewarding more plentiful rear guards. In copies, which is why we run so many copies of everything on the field. Moving along to our grade zero lineup, I've seen that the most popular form of this build runs a total of eight front triggers, so you're giving power with units, especially with units that decrease their power to be call out extras, and it just applies a lot of pressure. So, eight front triggers, any of them will do of the ones that are in the set. The four of the PG. Uh, draw triggers and four heals. You could also replace two of these with crits if you really wanted to or two more draws. I personally just prefer running the eight right now until I have more testing and we run the grade zero that when you ride you get a you draw a card. So as an overall this deck isn't terrible. It's by far one of the most interesting ones, and I want to play test with it to see if I definitely want to build it. I think what makes this deck great is just the fact that these cards here lock out your opponent, and so every turn you can search out for one of these two cards. Essentially, what you're going to do every turn is you're going to use his skill to search out for one arrest if it's not already in your hand or in play. From there, you're going to call it to rear guard, so that way you can use the combination of all the skills and just lock your opponent out for a total of four turns which is about what all you can do after that fourth turn is up of playing your fourth arrest in a perfect world your opponent just won't be able to at that point you have if you ride every turn you get an excel mark but remember the moment you don't ride one of these cards the whole combo just short sort of shatters i mean your opponent won't be able to ride in or won't be able to stand as grade 3, but he can just ride over it. This combo also prevents striding from being of any use in uh, premium. Because even though when you stride, your opponent can't... Um, if your opponent can't ride, you, when they stride and the vanguard was resting, that's all that's going to be left is resting. So, as an overall, it's pretty good. Alright guys, so that's about it. Please, again, remember to like and subscribe if you're new. I'd like to give a shout-out to Team Burst and everyone else that's been supporting these past four videos. Guys, in total, we have broken over 300 views on the Shadow Paladins. We have broken over 200 views on Pale Moon. And we just broke 100 views today on Dark Irregulars. So I'm hoping we can shatter another 100 views on this. Please let me know what deck profiles you want to see. Um, I know there's a Dark Irregulars deck profile premium request. So let me know if you want to see that. 
Guys, if we break a thousand subs by October, I'm doubling all the rewards of the thousand subscriber giveaway and I'm also tripling all the rewards in between there. So if you guys have gift marks or cards you really want, you don't want to spend money on, or yeah, just subscribe. Subscribing gets you rewards and honestly, that's all that's really left to say. Um, as you can see, the final set breakdown is here for the units. You need a quick second. All right. I think I'm done rambling. Have a wonderful day, guys. I've been the Silver Wolf, and I'll see you all later. Peace.